Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are here again. We are here again. Daddy, we are here again. Emmanuel, we are here again. We are here again. We are here again. Savior, we are here again. Omega, we are here again. We are here again. We are here again. Daddy, we are here again. Savior, we are here again. We are here again to the glory of God. We are here again to the honor, power, might, and majesty of Jehovah. We are here again by the power of his might and majesty. We are here again to preach the word of God. Father, we thank you for your word. Let the word come forth with power. Let the word come forth with unction and anointing. Let the word come forth with glory. Let the word come forth with a powerful ministration excellent. That at the end, let the name of Christ alone be glorified. For unto the Lord we are the glory. Father, the word is forever settled in heaven. The word of life and word of power. Word of reality and word of dignity and word of excellency. Let the true living word minister to us, renew us, revive us, restore us, and let there be cleanliness and purity in us. At the end, let Christ alone be glorified. For unto God we are the glory forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. We give God the praise. God bless you. And keep you by the power of his might, reality and excellence in Jesus' name. But still talking about consecrate yourself. God bless you. God bless you. Do you know during time of consecration, God bless us as you washing all the way from France. God bless you. Okay. So we're talking about consecration. I know God bless you today. I know you had a happy day, a good day indeed. For the Father, you are alive in the land of the living. Keep praising him. Are you hearing me? Keep giving him praise. Keep worshiping him. Keep honoring him. For great is the faithfulness of our God. Some are dead. Some are wounded. Some are injured. Some are in the hospital. Some are in the mortuary. Some are in different places of life. But God has kept you by the power of his might. Hallowed be his name. Praise be his name. Dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto his name forevermore. In the name of Jesus. This God that kept you alive, his name be magnified forever. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Hallelujah. So let's keep on with the word of God. And let's go on with the word of life. Here the Bible, the word of God said about separation. Separate yourself. One of the ways, one of the steps for consecration. One of the steps for consecration is separation. Separate yourself from the world, from the devil, from evil men, from evil women, from evil friends, from bad friends, from negative friends, eh? from people that doesn't make you to know God. Those people, that place you go to, that company you will go to, when you're coming back, you do. You're sighing. You don't like what you didn't like what happened. That's evil association. That's evil communication. Come out from among them says the Spirit of the Lord, and be that different. Come out from among them and be separated. Come out from among them and be different. I hear what I'm saying. Come out, come out, come out, come out from among them. And separate yourself from those contrary and negative evils. For the King of our life, the Master of all, Jesus of Nazareth, the lover of our soul, is seriously and highly interested in us and everything about us. Unto him alone be our glory, dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. He wants us to separate. Do you know, the more you separate from the world, the closer you come to Christ. The more you separate from the world, it's an opportunity for you to come closer to Christ. The world you are separating from hurts you. The world wants to defile you. The world wants to set you on the contrary and makes you to be enemy of God. But Jesus will be everything to you. Let's see James chapter 4, verse 4. James chapter 4, verse 4. Separate yourself. James chapter 4, verse 4. The Bible said, You are adulterers and adulteresses. That is, men who are committing adultery, who are committing sexual immorality, who the people who have gone to other gods, who is in Christ and married to other gods. It's a shame. I watched on Facebook today. 
Uh, somebody sent it on WhatsApp. A young lady was crying. Crying bitterly. That some time ago, he saw a lady in social media. The lady searched the husband's, uh, the get boyfriend's, whatever, and saw something very dangerous. And this lady said, let she like such. The boyfriend left. He went there and sacked. He said he didn't say everything. He saw a box. Something was telling her, open the box, break the box. Uh, he said, how can she break the box? Something was telling her, break the box, break the box, break the box, break the box. Break the box, break the box. She said, she called somebody that, you know, who do furniture and I said, do you have such a so, so, so box? The same size, color? The person said yes. He said, please, I would order it. Keep it in order. I will soon need it. The lady wants to break it and replace it. And she broke it. And along, along the line, what you saw was so baffling. What you saw was so heartbreaking. She saw her picture tied down. She saw her pants used to tie money instead of it. She saw some goddess, some idols that were prepared and kept in that place with her picture turned upside down. The lady was crying as I've been sleeping with her. This one, this man is using the pant. Who knows if it is a private part that is using all this money for this young man. The days are evil. When a woman will leave the father and the mother and go to a boy to stay with. Hey, somebody that's not married to you, say boyfriend, girlfriend, child. Who did this thing to you? Wait till the appointed time. So that when you marry, you know you have gotten a husband. You have right to know everything happening within the house. Separation. You see, this person now that had all these things, the boyfriend might be going to church. And so the prophets will be prophesying to him. Ah, you'll be great. He said, yeah. Donation could be going on in the church. He will give a big money. Ah, wow. This man is a lover of God. He loves God. When you're telling him he loves God, he knew his mind will be going to his idol. I shall listen in now. What is your idol? What did you keep? You are serving God plus. It will not help you now. You know that any other thing you serve with God will not help you. Separate yourself from those things. Separate yourself from those things that was done for you in your family, in your father's house. When you were not, you, you didn't know anything. Today, 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 so many pastors are taking a lot of people to some places. And they do some ritualistic nonsense for them. May God show us mercy. And may God deliver us from these evil hands. How can you, when you are not born again, you didn't get into ritualistic nonsense. Now that you are born again, they are taking you to do those things for you. Even in the water. Is God in the water? You don't know that day Jesus walked on top of the sea, walked upon the head of mommy with our principalities and powers and the, 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 the gods of the sea. Don't you know that? He conquered them. And Jesus said it is finished. Is there a, a part that is left unfinished? Jesus said it is finished. James 4.4 4, You are daughters and adulteresses. Know you not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is enemy of God. Separate yourself. Do you want to be enemy of God? When you are sin and living in sin, enjoying sin, continuing sin, you are enemy of God. The Bible, the word of God says, Righteousness that will exalt a nation, sin is a reproach. Now is the hour, day that worship God must do that in spirit and in truth. Now is the hour that the glory and mercy for hand of God will take over our spirit. Separate yourself from this evil. Separate yourself from that drunkenness. Separate yourself from that a drunk that is your close friend. Separate yourself. Learn how to separate yourself. If you really want to consecrate yourself, you must separate yourself from a lot of things. You must separate yourself from a lot of things if you really want to consecrate your life. If you really want to consecrate and be holy before God. If you really want to consecrate, trials will come, temptations will come. There will be quicker ways of making money through lying, through gambling, through this, through negative means. A lot of people are know the business they are doing is illegal. People are eating it and people are dying. And then somebody is still busy doing the same business. May God show us mercy. Do you know during the uh, Nigerian, when there was a serious problem in Nigeria some few months ago, when there was finances of, uh, uh, of finance, scarcity of finance, when notes, you know, uh, uh, Naira note was very, very scarce. 
There are some people that are looking for money. Some people were so hardened that when you bring, you say, please, I need 10,000. Give me, give me 10,000. Do you know what happened? They tell you, if I'll transfer to you, I'm going to take 5,000 and give you 5,000. They share your money into two. Some people, chai. Some people, they'll tell you, they take 4,500 4, naira and give you 5,500 naira for your own money just to transfer. If you do transfer, they'll give you cash. Some share it into two. And they, 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 50, 50. Chai. Do you know some of them that made it? Immediately that, Naira came back again. Mmm, trouble came. And swallowed their money. When the money you get in a way that is not a righteous way, in a way that is not a genuine way, will you call it vanish? Are you hearing me? It will vanish. Righteousness is also a natural sin is very push. Don't be a friend of the world. Separate yourself. God loves us to separate. God wants us to separate. The glory of God wants us to separate. God wants us to separate from the devil, from the demons, and from powers of darknesses. God really wants us to separate ourselves. From all these things, don't entangle yourself. Those things, this, that place you know you go to and you come back sighing. Are you hearing me? Somebody tune the child of God, go with me now. I want to visit my friend, this and this and that. I want to. The lady said, no, 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 don't do such a thing. I will not go. No, 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 no. Before understand it, the lady was persuaded. The child of God, don't let anybody persuade you into evil. Don't let anybody persuade you into wrong. Don't let anybody to persuade you into unrighteousness. Don't let anybody persuade you into iniquity. Don't let anybody persuade you into sin. Was so persuaded and persuaded, and she go with a friend. You thought that that person was a friend? Until when they were staying, it was cool living in. And the friend was telling her, I will not go. He said, ah, you mean we are not going today? He said, no, I will not go. The lady was upset, was troubled, and what happened? They had to come out in that night to pick a vehicle for her to go, and the lady went back to stay with her boyfriend. But you would have told her you will not go. Why do you persuade her to go in the first time with you? You see evil everywhere. Abomination. Let's be wise. Do you know when you separate yourself from all these things, you're not going to see any pain. When you separate yourself from all these things, there's extraordinary joy you're going to have. Because you did the separation. The moment you do the separation, I tell you, the moment you do the separation, you will not lament, you will not cry. Like other people have been crying, saying, oh, I regret it. No, 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 no. The mighty hand of grace, the mighty hand of God will keep you and make you strong and strengthened again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that when others are regretting, you will have no cause to regret. You will say, but I was not part of it. I am not part of it, and I cannot be part of it. Hallelujah. Mm. So separate yourself. Look at what. Uh, look at how they did it in Israel, in the book of Ezra. Yes, in the book of Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty-one. Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty-one. Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty-one. This is a very hard part of the consecration. It's a very hard part. Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty-one and twenty-two. Ezra chapter 6, verse 21 and verse 22. Ezra chapter 6, verse 21 and verse 22. We're going to read it. Okay, this is a very hard part of it. Not everybody, not every man, not every woman would like to separate. There are people that have gotten friends that are too used to the friend they are tired. But the friend is still pulling them down. The friend is still leading them to evil. Why not separate? The Bible says, whosoever should love the world is the enemy of God. How much you love your friend determines how much you love Jesus of Nazareth. Who is your friend that have been deceiving you? Who is your friend that is setting you back? Who is your friend that is lowering you back? Who is your friend that is setting you back? May the mighty hand of grace, a mighty hand of power come in, and let Christ then be honored. In the mighty name of Jesus, great is the faithfulness of our God. We give God all the praise. Amen. Ezra, chapter 6. Verse number 21. Ezra chapter 6, verse 21. The Bible said, And the children of Israel, which were come out of captivity, and as such as have separated themselves unto them from fitness. They have separated themselves. They came back from exile. They came back from captivity. And so the land that used to be a holy land is no more a holy land. Abortion everywhere, evil everywhere. Just like the first time I went to Jerusalem. Ah, 
The first time I went to Israel, I was say, oh, this is Endarado, Endarado. Oh, glory of God, power of God. By the time I went, I saw what people are wearing. One morning I come up, I saw one lady smoking. I saw what she was wearing. I said, in the Holy Land, to Ross is the Holy Land. To them, they don't know what it means. Some of them are Arab that came to do well there. Some of them are Muslims. Some of them are children of uh, Ishmael. They don't know what it means. Israelites are equally there. Majority of them are of other denominations and not of Pentecostal. Very few fragments who understand the value of Israel. They, what mostly the Israelites are doing is to make money. Uh, they take you to this side, promote it. Take you to this side to promote it. But for them, they don't believe in those sides. They don't believe anything. They don't believe. No, no, no. They don't believe. They don't believe. They don't believe. They don't believe. They don't believe you are Jesus. They don't believe you are Messiah. But they believe that you give them money through what Jesus has done for them. But they deny him in total. What a nation. What we're reading in now. Uh, well, we're reading in Ezra chapter 6, verse 21. And the Bible, the word of God said, And the children of Israel, which were come again out of captivity, all such as had separated themselves unto themselves, they have separated themselves unto the Sodomy, they have left that club, they have left the people. Oh, brother, sister, you people are still in the land. Uh, my grandmother, your great-grandmother were the same. Remember, this was their captivity. They have been there for 70 years. And got your favor, and they came back again. By the time they came back, the land they used to know, the land they were told about the greatness, the land they told about the purity, the land they told about God, the power of God. They saw quite different things. They saw idol, idol, idol. Like when you get to Israel, you see a lot of idols everywhere. There are some shops you go, it is a carved bean, carved images uh, that people will buy and take home and begin to do one thing or the other with. Hey! It's so terrible. Very, very terrible. And you begin to say, this is a holy land. And so people will go to a particular uh, uh, place, a particular site. Ah, this is where Jesus was born. Ah, some people will bow down there, begin to pray, pray. You that is bowing down there and pray, has he been born in your life? He's not going to the holy land. Are you holy? holy going to holy land one million times will not take you to heaven. It will only give you deeper knowledge of the scripture. It will give you deeper understanding that these things are very real. They all happened. So that by the time you say them, you say them with everybody that they are all real. Anybody that have gone to Holy Land, anybody that have traveled to Israel will tell you, yes, these things are real. But are they real in your life? Are you manifesting the glory of God? Are you manifesting the power, the presence, and manifestation of the reality of God? Are they being manifested in your life? Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Well, we're reading in Ezra chapter 6, verse 21. I've just finished reading 21. Let me read it again. Ezra chapter 6, verse 21. And the children of Israel, which were come again out of captivity, and they all sought, as have separated themselves unto themselves. They separate themselves unto themselves from the filthiness of the hidden of the land to seek the Lord God of Israel, and did it. They separate themselves uh, from the filthiness of the land. We're in the world, but we are not of the world. Have you separated yourself from the filthiness of this life? Have you separated yourself from filthiness of this world? From filthiness of that country where you are? Sometimes you think that Africa is a very bad corrupt place until you travel abroad. When you travel abroad and see women traveling in the street only with pant and bra. You know, in Africa, a woman may dress only the belly with says, ah! What an abomination, what an evil. But you see somebody comfortably walking in the street with pants and bra, carrying the child in a trolley, and they'll be going, Ah! You see what is happening? What an evil. You see evil money fested in a double form. There are some countries of the world you will go to, you come back and say, Africa is a, a virgin land. Africa is a holy place. Those of you living abroad, I want to thank God for you. That is why a lot of women, even who are married abroad, are doing prostitution. The husband is not rich, they meet uh, richer people. Somebody was telling me of what happened in one country of the world like that. The man will be there, and the woman, being an African woman, they, he had a, girl, a boyfriend. The boyfriend will come there, right under the nose of the husband. Two of them will stay and do whatever. If the man wants to talk, he tell the man, well, do you pay the rent? Do you pay the rent? Can you pay the rent? Do you know what it costs to pay the rent? Chai. What abomination, what an evil. 
You are in my sister that is listening to me. Never do such a life. Find something to win. And let God bless you. And God will continue to bless you with the work of your hand. Don't sell your body. All these things are prostitution in a, pro in a pronounced way. All these things are evil in a higher way. At the end of life, you will live to give account. You see young ladies that get into prostitution at the age of 20, 25. They are into prostitution. And before I understand it, they continue in prostitution at the age of 30, at the age of 40, at the age of 45. 50 by the time they get to 55 60 65 oh young men will never more look for them they go for younger ladies like that and the person will remember all the evil he has done all the great thing he has done why not repent now from that evil why not repent separate yourself from that sin separate yourself from that impurity separate yourself from that unrighteousness and ask god of heaven and earth to show you mercy and ask god of heaven and earth to really show you mercy look at all the, these people separated themselves from the hidden and the children of Israel were well, read in Hebrew chapter uh, in Ezra chapter 6 verse 21 and the children of Israel which were come again out of the captivity and all sorts as had separated themselves unto themselves from the filthiness of the hidden of the land to seek the Lord God of Israel uh, I God of God of Israel did it and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy and they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy for the lord had made them joyful and turned the heart of the king of assyria unto them to strengthen their hand in the walk of the house of god the god of israel hallelujah their hand was strengthened and they have something to win something beautiful separate yourself separate yourself from that association you see that these people separated themselves by the time they went back to israel israel was supposed to be a holy place a godly place a righteous place but what they saw was dismay like vomits everywhere they were saying ah we were in a strange land and we were seeing uh, things and we were saying no 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 this is not supposed to be well they are not christian nation and now we are back to our christian nation why should something like this happen why should something like this happen no 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 we don't want this and we never need that this in their own land when they came back to their own land again they see evil everywhere they see abomination everywhere they start separating themselves why your family have doubled into idolatry your family have doubled into worshiping devil and demon and power of darkness is, uh, and you are part of them now you're sending them money they said they do this every year they do this every year there are some families every year that are goddess and demon they are giving particular things you know either they give goat or they give cow and during that time especially Selena August is approaching. Your father will call. Your mother will call. Ah, we need New Year festival. You say, does it matter anything? And you send money for New Year festival. Do you know the meaning of God of Yam? Do you know the meaning of God of Yam? It is a God of thunder that owns the Yam. So therefore, uh, that like there was some time before, before it was broken in my land. Uh, if the if the people of the, my area have not done their New Year festival, you dare not say New Yam. You cannot say New Yam in the land. But by the time power of God came, this idolatry was broken. This idolatry was broken. We are into a lot of idolatry. May we continue separating ourselves? Can we go ahead separating ourselves? Those things you are doing now, thinking it's sweet. At the end of life, you are going to regret them. And you say, no, no, no. Look at how these people separated themselves. They separated themselves from the God, from, from demon. And God turned the heart of the king. That means separation. When you separate from a lot of things, I will not do them. I will not do them. I know very few people. Very few people. I'm not judging any man. I know very few people who are even living in a strange land, they separated themselves from all this thing. They separated themselves from all this evil. They separated themselves from all this negativism and what is happening to them. They are even bled more than people that have doubled into this evil. More than people that have doubled into this unrighteousness. Are you hearing me? Keep separating yourself. Any day you wake up and God said, I don't like this, separate yourself. Any day you wake up and God said, separate yourself from this friend, I separate. There's a friend of mine who were too friendly, very, very, very close. And God spoke to me one day and said, separate yourself from him. You don't have the same vision. If you continue moving with him, you will not make it. Your standard will not be met, and I, I mean, your vision will not be normalized. So pray to yourself from him. And what do I do? I have to obey the word of God. I am ready to obey the word of the living God. I separate myself from him. I told him I cannot continue with you. I moved away from him. We are not enemies, but in the ministry, no, we cannot work together. The Lord told me, separate from him. These people separated themselves from the people of the land. They separated themselves from abomination of the land. They separated themselves from the evil they met on the ground. They separated themselves from 
from all this. If you want to consecrate yourself and live a holy, clean, pure, a standard and a righteous life, you must do some separation. Have you asked yourself a question? Who are my friends? Show me your friend and I'll tell you your character. Show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Show me your friend, I'll tell you how you behave, how your character looks like, and everything within you and everything around about you. Children of God, is it not a high time? Is it not a time for us to say, God, I arise and I repent. I arise and I repent. I arise and I repent of every unrighteousness, of every impurity, of every iniquity in my life. Can you begin to separate yourself? Can you begin to tell all these things? I hate you. I don't want you. Be pulled off my system and be pulled out of my body. Well, we read in James chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible saying that friendship of the world is an enmity with God. Whosoever therefore shall be the friend of this world, whosoever that will love this world, whosoever that will be in love with this world, whosoever that will be in agreement with this world, whosoever will move the way of the world, the Bible said that is enemy of God. Here we saw how these people said, we're not going to be enemy of God, we want to be friend of God, we want to be close with God, and they separated themselves from all these things. May the mighty hand of grace, and may the mighty hand of Christ, may the mighty hand of the Lord flow in us and walk in us, and may we have the joy of the Holy Spirit. May we have the joy of separating. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, even make such. Do you know one of the reasons why the separation must come and no, it must come and come very, 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 very quickly. Are you know what I'm saying? This separation must have to come and then it has to come and come very, 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 very quickly because uh, we don't need to defile ourselves anymore. We don't need to continue. And look at the prayer Jesus prayed. In the book of John chapter 17, verse 16. John chapter 17, verse 16. John 17, 16. Jesus prayed a particular prayer there. I love the prayer he prayed. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. We are in the world. That's the cause for separation. We are not of the world. Today, the world is celebrating their bad day. They talk of the good thing they have done. They talk of the achievement they have done. That, and the world, the believers are meeting them today the church has come into the, the, the world have come into the church and the way the church is going the way the world is going so is the church going it's supposed not to be so it's a wrong attitude it's a wrong notion the world should not control the church the church should be the standard that controls the world yeah 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 any bishop that need a gift today any man of God that need gift today he will set in a bad day ah you didn't come to my bad day some of them will send it they will even send it to your DM they will send it directly to you, they'll send it under a hinder that they'll send it directly, directly, directly to you. Ah, I am doing my bad day. What are you batting? What is a batting day? Ba bad day of what? What have you ever achieved? King Herod did it in those days to prove how great he was. I was born in Soso Day. I struggled with my power. I struggled with my strength. I did this. I did that. At the end, I have survived. I have taken my brother's wife away. My brother thought he was a great man. He never knew. His wife loved me more than he loved him. At the end of the day, I took it. John about to say it's not supposed. So Why are you celebrating that? Hey, you're celebrating nonsense. And no wonder. John spoke to the woman. You're not supposed to do that. Come on, get back to your husband. And the daughter of the woman said, he, 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 he asked the mother. The king said, what do you want? He said, go, he asked okay, the head of John the Baptist. And the head was given. What did he do with it? When we went to Israel, when we went to Israel, I went to desert where John was living. He was living in the desert place. Still a desert today. Still a desert today. After over 2,000 years, it's still a desert place today. Separation. Separation. It is only people who have separated themselves from the world that God can guide and protect and preserve. I want to thank God for a lot of people. There are people who have been drunk. They, 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 they drink in the morning, in the afternoon, but the moment they get born again, they were delivered from that. Do you know how you know you're born again? Do you know how you know that you're a seed of righteousness? Any sin you have been committing before you got born again, the moment you got born again, you're separated from that sin. And when you remember it again, it will be the last sin you're going to come. You say, no, come on, how can I? No, 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 mess. Mm. It begins to stink in you because you have been separated millions and billions of miles away from such evil. Hallelujah. We're talking about consecration. 
Let's consecrate ourselves. We have become so weak. We have become so weakened down. We have become so weakened down that we cannot rise up again. We cannot pray the way we need to pray again. We cannot go closer to God the way we need to go closer to God. And no wonder we can command and nothing happens again. How can you command in the name of Jesus and demons will not be there? Today I was going through the scripture. I was ashamed of myself. Because the Bible said where I was reading in the book of Matthew chapter 12. That all the sick people that came there. That Jesus healed all of them. I said, ah, uh ah. -uh. It, it has it been like this in our crusade today? Some will come get healed, and the few that got healed will celebrate it. Ah, my ministry was well, celebrated. What are you celebrating? In the ministry of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all that came were all healed. He left the city without somebody being sick in that city. All were. Right. Whenever I get to that, it touches my brain. But he said, Greater work shall we do than what he did. But in his ministry, all that came were all healed. Hey, what a power of separation. When I begin to see the separation power of Jesus and how Jesus did the separation. In John where we read, he said, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You see to that? He said, even as I am not of the world. That is what the prayer of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I begin to see the separation of this man. Sometimes you'll be in the mountain. Sometimes you'll be in such a place. Sometimes you go to a lowly place and pray. And tell the disciples, go, I am coming. Look at Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Look at one separation Jesus did there. Look at Mark chapter 1 verse 35. He did a powerful separation here. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before the day, he went out. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Mark chapter 1 and verse 35. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Nobody's writing for me again. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. What we read before was uh, John chapter 17 verse 16. That was what we read before John 17 16. But now we're reading Mark chapter 1 verse 35. And the Bible said, and in the morning rising up a great while before the day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and uh, they are prayed. He departed. I went to a solitary place, a quiet place. There he prayed. He separated himself. Before the day could break forth, he has gone out in a separate place. I begin to, this evening, I was having some prayers with some people. Uh huh. And when we were praying, this is what I mentioned. Thank you so much. Glad this for writing for me. God bless you. You know, this is what I read for them. I said, look, Jesus of Nazareth was having just Mary as his mother, Joseph as the, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 father, father, and things like that. And then he has about four, five brothers uh, and about two, three sisters again. Can you imagine the small room where they were all sleeping? Can you imagine the small room where they were all lying down and sleeping? When you went to Mount of Beatitude in Israel, it is written there that Jesus have also many brothers and sisters. Uh, and their names were written there. One of them is Jude. That's the name of one of them, Jude and James, the lost brother. They were all written there. Okay? So even in the scripture, it tells you the names of the brothers of Jesus of Nazareth and the sisters of Jesus of Nazareth. So can you imagine a full house? Can you imagine a full house? Jesus could not pray to disturb them. If you're living with two, three, four people in the morning, you're shouting, you're not doing the right thing. The Lord showed you example. He separated himself from them, went to a balcony, went to a lowly place. He could move to a nearby bush. There he stayed and he prayed. He saw the face of the Lord and the Lord heard him and the Lord listened to him. Can you separate yourself from a lot of things? Can you separate yourself right now? And say that I have, can you, do, do you know funny thing is that many of us don't have a separate time for prayers. Let's have a separate time. Could it be 2 a.m. in the morning? Could it be 3 a.m.? Could it be 4 a.m.? Even in your family. Do you have a separate time of the family? Do you have a time that whenever that time comes, every member of the family will know it's a sacred time. It's a holy time. It's a righteous time. Whatever thing they are doing, they'll say, no, no, no. A time to consecrate. A time to seek God. Or is it any time you call them, you pray with them? No. There must be that separation. When you make a separation for God, God will make a provision for you. Are you hearing me? When you make a separation for God, God will make a special time to listen to you. Make a time to listen to you. But when you don't have time for God, wherever you meet is okay. Is it 9 o'clock in the morning you wake, you pray? Is it any time? There was a friend of mine and went to program in his house. Around 10.30, he called all of us. I said, what happened? He said, that's our morning devotion. We have not prayed. We prayed. The other day, they woke up early around 8. They said, prayed. The other time, they woke up around 7. I wanted to go. They did their morning devotion. I said, you don't have specific time. He said, no, no, no. Whenever 
whenever we wake up, whenever we wake up, may God deliver us. May we have a special time for the Lord. May we have a time kept for the Lord. Unless you're running a shift, you can say this month, I'm on so-so-so shift. This will be my devotion time, separation time. Okay, the other month you're running a shift. God will understand it that way. But when it is that whenever you wake up, you go into devotion, no, that's not the right for thing to be done. Can you make a separation? Do you know funny thing about it? Any family, many families, until you conquer it, until you overcome it. So many families that have a special time, they seek God. At that particular time, trouble will come. The children will start crying. There was one man of God, he told me that his family, they do morning devotion, separation time for two to three hours. I looked at him. I said, that is good. I like it. He said, sometime more than that. I said, wonderful. He said, before you say wonderful, can you ask us how we do it now? I said, eh, how do you do it? He said, by the time they start praying, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. He said, two of the children will start fighting. They will fight and quarrel and quarrel. He will separate them in the next 20 minutes. After separating them in the 20, next 20 minutes, they will say, start again. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. And this person will hit his head on the ground, one of the children, and start crying and making a big noise. What happened? What happened? He said, that day, he's trying to sleep. I wake him up. He started crying. Did I tell you to wake him up for me? Allow me to be waking people up and trouble will come. He said they will settle that one for 30 minutes again before understanding the time has gone. That is the devil. If it is time of eating food, something will not happen. Everybody will carry his food quietly and begin to eat. Mommy, I'm tired because it's time of prayers. Can you conquer? Can you separate? Can you say, no, 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 no. Let's make a separation for the Lord. Let's separate this one hour. Let's separate this 30 minutes for the Lord. Let's separate two hours for the Lord. Let's stay with him. Let's have a good time with him. Let's pray together with him. If you want to consecrate yourself, remember, as we're talking about consecration, it is not only you. You must carry your family along. You must carry your husband along. You must carry your wife along. You must carry your children along, consecrate yourself so that when the blessing and protection of God will come, it will come on the entire family. It will come on that man, it will come on that woman, it will come on that boy, it will come on that girl. That everybody will flow together and everybody will move together. Child of God, I want to plead with you. Child of God, can you do the separation today? God wants us to do the separation. You saw how the Israelites did their own separation and what happened at the end of the day? At the end of the day, there was that laughter, there was that joy. The king remembered them and sent them more materials to do the work of God and they did the work of God with gladness and they did the work of God with happiness and they did the work of God with joy. May God help us to serve him in peace and in joy. May God help us to serve him in purity and holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what happened in the book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. I just love this scripture. For so, Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. For so, as a high praise become us who is holy look at you see because of all jesus was made a high priest who is holy harmless he is harmless he's not having any god he's not having anybody undefined and separated from sinners and made higher than the heavens hey hallelujah Jesus. Thank God for Jesus of Nazareth. Thank God for the man of war. Thank God for the ancient of the days. The Bible said, for in the he Hebrew chapter 7 verse 26, Hebrew chapter 7 verse 26, Hebrew chapter 7 verse 26, the Bible said, for such as an high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefined, separated from sinners, a medaya than the heaven. That is Jesus of Nazareth. Because of you, because of me, he become holy. He separated himself from this. And there are a lot of things. Because you are a child of God, there are things you must separate yourself from. There are lies they'll be telling you. Say, no, I'm not going to be part of this lie. I'm a child of God. I cannot continue in this way. I cannot continue in this lie. I cannot continue in this misbehavior. Yet they do it quickly and things like that. A lot of people abroad are begging and begging and begging. And they will be given a credit card. They will tell a lot of lies. They will say they are disabled. They will say they are dead. They are said they are vulnerable. They will say one thing or the other that does not happen to them. And when you are claiming all this thing and you are giving a credit card, every month you make use of it, you are happy. You will draw the money and then you begin to do one investment or the other. He said, do you know how I make my money? Only you and God knows how you make your money with lies. Can you separate yourself from all this thing and say, God, this is what I'm doing. Yes, you can need help. Help can come. Some company will say this and they say, I need help. Help. What I'm having is not enough for me. Can you be a help to us? But for you to tell them you are this and for you to forge anything and say that is who you are. 
May God Almighty show us mercy. May God Almighty save our soul, save our spirit, for us to be truthful after all this race, after running here, after this pain, after showing you are a child of God, after this uh, suffering here on earth, at the end, how are you going to end up in eternity? How are you going to end up? Are you going to tell God, uh, I had the gospel, but it's difficult. Look at what the Bible says, for such, in the book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26, for such as a high priest became out. Jesus of Nazareth turned and they become a high priest. Look at uh, 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 what the Bible says. Okay, let me start reading from 24 so that you can understand it. But this man, because he continued ever, had an unchangeable priesthood. Jesus had unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore, he is able to save them to the uttermost that came unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Jesus is able to serve any man. He's ready to serve any woman. He's ready to serve any boy. He's ready to serve anybody because he's making intercession for us. The Lord is making intercession for you. The Lord is making intercession for me. Look at the Bible said, then he came to verse 26, for such an high priest become us who is holy, harmless, undefined, separate from sinners. And made higher than the heaven. Have you seen? Whenever you put yourself, whenever you choose to be separate, at the end of the day, promotion will come. People may ridicule you. People may laugh at you. People may humiliate you. People may misunderstand you. They call you church man, church woman, dummy dresser. This one that we are there. They may give you nicknames. Yes, that was the kind of name they gave to the Lord Jesus Christ. It has not been easy for them to associate freely with the community. But when the unbelievers are praising you, and believers are praising you, everybody is praising you, be careful. Be careful. There are things they must have been saying behind you. When you commit a sin, you tell them this one is evil. This one is bad. You don't need to do this one. There are some believers, they will tell me what happened. I say, have you spoken? He said, no, I can't tell them all. No, I don't want their wahala. I don't want their trouble. That's a message. That's a warning. The Lord wants you to warn them. The St. Paul so knowing the wrath of God, we want men. Knowing the wrath of God, we want men. You have a, a woman friend. You know the woman is married. You know the woman is keeping a man friend. You know the woman is keeping an evil altar. You know the woman is keeping an evil association. And you close your mouth. You cannot talk to her. Let me tell you, at that day in eternity, God will ask you, but why didn't you tell her? And what are you going to tell God? Separate yourself. Let's learn how to separate ourselves from all these things. If we can purely separate ourselves from all these things, and separate ourselves from negativism, and separate ourselves from all these contrary things, I tell you, the merciful hand of God will come, and God himself, in power, might, and majesty, will come, and I tell you, a new different thing altogether will happen to us, and God will remember us. God wants us to separate ourselves. Look at what the Bible says. This separation is what will help us to continue in righteousness. Separation from gluttony. There are a lot of people who are owing today because they could not separate their throat. Gluttony, you know, gluten. Being a gluten man, a gluten woman, everything they see they want to buy, and they go and buy it credit because they could not separate their appetite from themselves. But the people of Israel separated themselves from themselves. That's what the Bible said where we read in the book of Ezra. They separated themselves from themselves. Can you separate yourself from yourself? Can you control yourself and say, you're not going to eat this thing? I don't have money for this thing. Don't try to put me in trouble. There's a difference between you're so hungry, you need to borrow to eat, and that you have food, you have one to manage at that time, but look at what you want to eat and you go on credit for that. No. The day the creditors will come, it, it will cause you sorrow. Anywhere you have fallen into any credit and they are troubling you. I pray now God Almighty will help you, deliver you from that in Jesus' name. All the people owing you, may they pay you back now. And all the people you are owing, may God give you grace and money to pay them back and be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible said in the book of First Peter chapter 2 verse 11. First Peter chapter 2 verse 11. First Peter chapter 2 verse 11. 11. First Peter chapter 2 verse 11 the Bible said, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, absent from fleshly Lord, which war against the soul, fleshly Lord, abstain from fleshly Lord, abstain from fleshly Lord, I mean, separate yourself from the laws of the flesh, nothing the flesh is telling you to do, asking you to act, asking you to act, asking you to do, separate yourself from them and tell the flesh, I will not do that, I will tell you, I'm not going to do that, I will tell you, Jesus is Lord, I will tell you, grace of God is upon my life, I will tell you, I wouldn't want to do this, we need separation, may God help us, Many of us have been so in holiness and we become weak in that. Let me tell you, you don't need to be weak. Fortify yourself. You don't need to retire, but retire now. Tell yourself, I can do better than this. Continue examining your Christian life. 
who was I last year? And who am I this year? Was I stronger last year? Some people say, ah, I remember when I could pray. Five years ago, seven years ago, I can pray. I could have prayed that you are a slider. If you cannot pray now, and then you pray last year, last two years, you're going down. But the standard is supposed to be higher. You're supposed to be up and on and higher in the Lord. And then when we sing a song, you see, join to sing the song, I am going higher every day. When you are supposed to say, I'm going down every year. Instead of you to tell yourself the truth, and when they're singing, I am going higher every day. Say, I am going down every day. Nobody would like to sing that one, but that's the truth of what is happening. Many of us are going down. Many of us are going backwards. Many of us are going astray. May the mighty hand of grace, may the mighty hand of God, may God himself in his infinite might and power strengthen us and help us and make us to be his own and make us to be his seed. And may we continue being the seed of righteousness and move on in power, might and majesty and move on in the glory of the Lord and the excellency of the Lord and let the name of Christ be glorified and praised in our spirit, soul and body forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Child of God is a time of separation. It's time to tell yourself, I can't continue in this. I will separate myself. I want to consecrate myself. But there are things that are tying me. I need to lose myself. Could it be those friends? Could it be that man? Could it be, the, be that woman? Many of us, even your marriage, is entanglement to you. Can't you go for a wise counsel and know what to do about that? Many of us is anger. Many of us is unforgiveness. Many of us is hatred. Many of us is lie. If something that was done to you when you were a child, you still have it in mind, then are you still a child of God? If somebody have offended you, say, well, I can forget it. I can remember. I cannot for, I can, I can forgive, but I cannot forget. And you are still crying. You did it last day. You did it last two years. You remember it, the pain is still there in your heart. Brother, sister, you have not forgiven. The truth is, you may say, I have forgiven. I, I can help him. I can help him. But the truth is that you have not forgiven. For the father, it is still pending you. Righteousness will exalt you. Having heard about separation, by Monday next week, Christ, if Christ starts on Wednesday, we're still going to go into expatiating this and talking about steps to uh, 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 consecration. These are the steps to consecration. When you have examined yourself, acknowledge your sin, confess of all your sin, repent from all your sin, and go for water baptism, and you are baptized. Oh, and now you are doing separation. You separate yourself from the devil, from the power of devil, power of darkness, and you separate yourself. You do a total separation. God of mercy will show you favor and mercy, and his name be glorified in Jesus' name. God will keep you and bless you. Thank you so much for hearing this word. Tell all that this word. Share this message to so many people so that by the time they hear this message, they will know that Christ is at hand. As if we separate ourselves, we cannot be separated unto the Lord. As if we separate ourselves, remove all these things from which all these things uh, that is entangling all, they don't last. It's just a deceit from the devil. They don't really last. May we separate ourselves and stand separated. May we separate ourselves and stand separated and stand for the Lord and the power of Christ will help us. And Christ's name shall be glorified for us. Yourself. I don't know if you want to say, I am tired. I cannot continue in this way. I cannot continue in this form. I want to separate myself from the devil, from power of evil, from power of darkness. I want to be for the Lord. Some of us are neutral, not for, fully for the Lord, not fully for the devil. No, 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 no. May God neutralize your neutrality and make you a seed of God and a seed of righteousness. If you want to say you want to separate yourself, but I have tried, man of God. I have tried from drunkenness. I failed so many times. I have tried from idolatry. I failed. I have tried from fornication and the daughter I have failed. I have tried for lies. I have failed. Yes, you are failing because you have not taken decision. Jesus has not come in and took root of your life. If Jesus of Nazareth will come in and take root of your life, I tell you, greater than this will happen, I tell you, you have that peace and joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Would you want to say, Lord, I want to separate. I want Jesus to be the King and God and Lord of my life. If that is your desire, if that is what you want, Jesus is ready to do it. Jesus is able to do it. He has done it before. He's going to do it again. Shall we begin to pray? Do you want Jesus to come into your life? If that is your desire, can you say to me, can you say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry I am a sinner. I've had your word. I want to separate myself. God, I'm sorry. Forgive me all my sins. I receive Jesus Christ right now into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Give me grace to live a holy life. Give me grace to live a righteous life. Give me grace to live a pure life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the mighty hand of grace give you grace. 
and give you the power of God to live a holy life, a righteous life, a pure life, and a dedicated life, a sanctified life in Jesus' name. May God forgive you the sin of the past and renew you and make you seed of righteousness. You that is my brother, you that is sister, you want to separate yourself. You know you are born again, but it has been hard for you. If you want to total separation now, can you serve after me? Can you say, Lord Jesus? Man of God, woman of God, my brother, my sister, deacon, deaconess, can you say, Lord Jesus? I ask you for special power to separate me from. You know what it is. Can you tell God what that is? I give you a few minutes to pray, a few seconds to pray. Can you begin to tell God right now? Can you begin to pray? Separate me, Lord. Separate me from this. Separate me from... Begin to mention that. Separate me from anger. Separate me from loss. Separate me from hatred. Separate me, O God of heaven and earth, from loss, from stinginess, from eating even my tithe. I've spent it. I eat it, thinking that things are too hard for me. It is that and things are too hard. In the midst of that, you pay your tithe. God will say, wow, I've seen faithfulness in this woman. I've seen faithfulness in this man and God will rise to do something. Stop deciding for God. He knows the future he has for you. When you decide and say, well, things are hard for three months, I'm going to use that money for that and solve my own problem. God will laugh at you. Where does miracle come and how does miracle come to you? Can you begin to say, God, I separate myself. You know those things from anger. Every time you're quarreling with your wife, whenever it is family prayer, quarreling will come, anger will come, unforgiveness will come. You remember this, you remember that. That is the devil. All of you that are married, they were, were very soon going to go back into our marriage seminar again for the August. God will help us to get into that one again. The mighty hand of God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty man in battle, continue telling him, help me, help me, help me. Help me to separate from this, to separate from lie, to separate from all these things. You know where you're committing yourself? May the mighty hand of God help you to separate. As you separate yourself from all these things, let the mighty power of grace and mighty hand of God work upon you, help you to be separated from all these negative things, from all these contrary things. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. I pray for you now in Jesus' name. Let the power of supernatural, the great power of God help you. Anointing the breast that you break every yoke of burden, break every yoke of bondage upon your head. Break every yoke that makes you not to be separated. As it is broken right now, I separate you in the name of God, the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. I separate you from that chain. I separate you from that loss. I separate you from that anger. I separate you from that hatred. I separate you from that lust. I separate you from that stinginess. I separate you from that wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the mighty hand of God separate you from all this negative thing. Let the power of Jesus separate you from all this contrary thing. And as you are separated, let the peace of God come. Let the glory of God come. Let the power of God come to you. You become renewed. You become fresh. You become glad in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm praying, the Lord says somebody here have contaminated himself and herself. I don't know what you have involved yourself. The Lord said there's a contamination. If there was a powerful anointing that was upon you, but you contaminated the anointing, possibly through committing sin, sin of anger, envy, hatred, lying, lust of over. Whatever. Anywhere you have contaminated yourself, I pray for renewal. I pray for cleansing. I pray for purification. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you. Let the blood of God purify you. Let the blood of Jesus wash you now. Make you whole, pure and sound and dedicated. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood cleanse and purify you. Let the blood make you sound and holy. Let the blood make you righteous and pure again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, be cleansed from power of devil and demon. Be cleansed from power of unrighteousness and let there be a new beginning in you. Let there be new peace in you, new joy in you and the joy of the Lord is your strength may you stand and stand for the Lord may you stand and stand for the glory of God, may you stand and stand for the peace of God, may you stand and stand for the mighty hand of God and glorious power of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord remain your strength and the power of Jehovah remain the goodness of the Lord in you, the joy of the Lord is your strength, today the power to separate, the power to say no everything that does not give God glory in your life be given to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here you have a ministry. Your ministry is shaking. The Lord says to pray for you. I pray for your ministry right now. Hey, that your ministry have touched soul. It has touched life of people. But for some time now, it is dwindling. It is shaking. I command a renewal. Any power somewhere inside that is shaking the ministry, let that power get off now. Let the presence of the Holy Ghost fill you up right now. And I command joy. You don't preach with joy again. You don't preach with excitement. I command joy to come back. 
back. I command peace to come back. I command the glory of God to come back. I command the merciful hand of God to come back now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a revival that begin with you right now. That place you are. That part of the world where you are. That place where you are in Europe. In that particular country where you are. Yeah, that place you are in North America. Yeah, that place you are in Africa. That place you are right now in South America. I mean that place where you are in India right now. In Spain right now. In Italy right now. In France where you are. In Germany where you are. In Nigeria where you are. In US where you are. That part of the world. In Kenya where you are. In Uganda. That place where you are right now. Yeah, in that North African country where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the revival begin with you. Let the revival begin with you. You in London. Come on. You in England. Let the peace of the Lord come. That place where you are in Europe. I release the peace of God. You that is in an Asian country, let there be visitation. Let God renew you, revival, restore you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the glory of God come upon you in Australia where you are, all over the world wherever you are. Yes, 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 yes. Let the glory of God, let the power of God, let the anointing of the Lord come forth there right now, begin to touch you, begin to renew you, begin to revive you right now and restore you back again. I command your peace. God is saying somebody's peace is not there. You don't have joy for some time. Let let there be joy. 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 I restore your joy in the name of Jesus Christ. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. The devil needs your joy badly so that the strength of the Lord will no more be in you. But today, the joy of the Lord come back to you. Receive new strength. Receive new power. New unction and anointing. And flow in the name of Jesus. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. From today, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Be renewed and be revived. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name I decree. Amen. God bless you. I got to see you again by Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Nigerian time. I got to see you again by Monday by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. And when is the 7 p.m. Nigerian time? Continue praying so that our marriage seminar is going to hold on by this August. Keep praying for all. A lot of chokings, a lot of programs, a lot of things around about all. But keep praying for all that is going to work out and Christ will be glorified. For unto the Lord be other glory forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. God the keeper will keep you. The protector will protect you. The preserver will preserve you. I command peace back to your family. Joy back to your family. That debt is paid immediately. You will never go homeless. Sir. I pray for that uh, resident permit, that green card, that, that, that citizenship be given to you. You are due for it now. Re receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Chains are broken and your freedom is resorted. God bless you. I love you all. Jesus loves you more. Until we come your way again. The joy of the Lord is a strength. Keep separating. Keep dedicating yourself. Keep sanctifying yourself. Keep coming closer to Christ. One day, there shall be a royal welcome. I shall be no stranger there. Jesus will my place prepare. He will meet me. He will greet me. I shall be no stranger there. You will be no stranger there. Jesus way you are place prepare. He will meet you. He will greet you. You shall be no stranger there. God bless you until we meet again. Remember, Lord. Amen.